My name is Dr. Sachin and I'm an application specialist in static control through ionization. Uh, today we have another product here, it's an overhead, overhead blower. Uh, overhead blower is essentially a blower which is mounted on, on the top of a work area or a work bench or even anywhere which can be mounted on top for basically space constraint reason. So the blower is very simple as you said, this is the two fan variant, uh, we call it as model as KF-40AH uh, overhead blowers or uh, you have, the, this is two fan variant, we have the three, we have the four, five, six, up to seven fan. So the, the mounting is very simple, as you can see this is flexible ones and we have several ports here, you can lock it uh, depending upon the angle you want, you can mount it like this also in this thing and this is now essentially can be mounted like this. So it's, it's kept on the work surface like this, so it basically now this is a smaller fan and this can cover essentially a very good area and you have more number of blowers, it can basically uh, cover the entire area. So let's dive into this product and see how it works and the power supply is here. You can give it directly to a power supply here and we connect it here. So this is the power supply and this is the earthing. Uh, earthing is essentially needed for safety as well as the proper functioning of the equipment. So let's start the equipment and see how does it work. And let's see, it's, it's a feature rich, it's got tremendous lots and lots of feature from cleaning to fan speed and all that. So it's turned on, let's see. So the power button is very easy here. It's all basically feather touch buttons and so nothingly outside. So basically it makes it clean room compatible also. So there are no uh, extra buttons so makes a clean room safe also so turning on is very simple so it's it's turned on it's given the, the, this tiny this hanging things would actually give you a impression from far off yes the blower is working let's see the speed of the fan let's see the feature number so HV when it has green it means HV voltage of blower 1 and the right side the blower 2 both are working the green means it's good the fan output is green for both the fans that means that the both the fans are working absolutely all right uh, let's reduce the fan speed this is fan 1 there are 8 speed controls let's do one by one you'll be able to see that so this is this is minus speed so least is the first speed and then let's start two three so as you can see the speed has gone up yeah and then the four five six seven and seven is the last and you can see this, this, is, this is the maximum speed that this can give you so you can see that the, the flow is like quite high here and you can adjust this and we're gonna do the test at so possibly at speed one or speed two and you can also set this up and also for the coming for the cleaning part as you can see this has a symbol of a brush uh, let me show you the brush where exactly it is uh, so let's dive into this feature so many people have come back to us and said that such a the blower is very good but the challenge we find is cleaning cleaning is too much of this thing getting in how do we clean all the emitter pins so i'm going to show you how we are going to do this and the additional features of it so this is very simple so the moment you remove this uh, the safety feature is basically the everything that this contacts have been released so it's connected here so the moment this is being removed as a part of the safety feature the entire unit turns off it's very simple so these are the brushes as you can see these are the nylon presses and which are going to rotate in some time you're going to press this button here and this will actually help us clean all these emitter pins as you can see these are the emitter pins here and this is the emitter pin assembly one two three four five six eight pins we have and even the similar would be here also uh, so it's very easy to remove so makes maintenance very easy in fact you have any dust anywhere all you need to do is just just uh, clean it up very easy so uh, let me pull out the emitter pin assembly now uh, many people say such an this is a very good feature actually uh, so if, if something the emitter pins have lost his life and not become very sharp is very simple you just hold it and you can see simply the emitter pin assembly has just come out and this alone can be bought separately from us and you can just replace it and the blower is back again new if you see our iron balance has gone really bad and it's not giving you the static decay or the discharge that you need all you need to buy this this thing so many ionizers come with without this feature now we wanted to incorporate based on customers coming in to us hey it's very expensive the ionizer is not working very well and you tell us to uh, spend again thousands of dollars or thousands of rupees and change the entire pin entire uh, unit just because of changing this emitter pin so this emitter pin can be removed you put it back here and once it is put here you press it and you lock it and it's locked so as simple as possible you don't need anybody just the pins are not working 
remove it tada it's free and you put it back here and it's loud good to go put back the covers on the covers this is the bread there's a tiny motor inside so this is going to rotate this will rotate inside uh, to clean all the emitter pins this so cleaning becomes very easy you don't really need to pull this out and clean it each and every which is a big a uh, lot of trouble in many ionizers and let's put this back again let's put back the assembly as you can see yes fair easy very easy very simple to put it back together and um, so the the ionizer is ready and if it is not locked in properly it will not turn on actually yeah okay sorry okay the power is here so it is turned on now it's all working if it is not as you can see if it is not fixed properly this the entire uh, equipment doesn't turn on so you put it back yeah so the ionizer is functioning again so now let's do the cleaning part and cleaning part i'm just going to press this button and possibly the, uh, the this thing there there's a different sound which you will hear which will tell you the cleaning is happening yeah the fans the, the brush is rotating in both the direction clockwise and anti clockwise uh, and uh, once the cleaning is done the fans have come the brushes have come to stand still and it's brand new again and so easy the cleaning is so easy and in fact you can set this in a number of hours also you can have periodic let us say you can set it up on a periodic basis let us say you want the cleaning every 24 hours you can go into set here and r25 so you set this you put hold this at 24 hours so you can keep changing it and let us say in 34 hours you want to set a cleaning so 44 hours h s stands for r so 24 hours whether you are there or not 24 hours the cleaning will start the cleaning is few seconds for few seconds it'll turn off and then you can set this up so you can have 34 you can have like this you can set it up for 999 hours depending on the frequency what you want so if let's say the blower is is stall in a place and you uh, don't want to trouble your operator with uh, the cleaning function and all that thing everything so a simple blower feature rich blower clean room compatible uh, with lot of features here with lot of safety emitter pin and everything here and completely good to go for any place the power button is very simple here and let me show you another very quick feature uh, it's uh, the filter assembly now many customers have come back to us saying the such an our environment is clean what a blower efficiently does is it sucks in the same it may sucks in the air from here it sucks in the air from here and gives it out and if say if your environment is not very clean this one does the work this is a very simple assembly you have a, a certain ppi filter the foam filter is there so what you need to do it is uh, quickly i'll just show it to you we're not going to do the assembly now but uh, this particular thing can be kept here uh, remove the screws uh, essentially remove the screws keep this here we keep this entire tray assembly here and uh, put put in the screws and then have this uh, packing on top of it and thus the entire thing locks yeah entire thing locks in and this is fit here and this what will it do it is so whatever dust it comes it gets settled into this and a removal is very easy uh, you can remove it very very easily when it is mounted also so it will just come out and at that particular time you can remove the seal probably tap it somewhere and all the dust will come out or after some time if let's say it's, it's, it's not able to be clean you need to replace this so a replaceable foam filter also means the last where people come in and say my my environment is not very clean such and if i have a blower which has a filter would do a great thing so thank you so much uh, the blower is kf dash 40 ah overhead blower we have multiples of this in multiple blowers we have to, this is two fan three four five six up to seven fan depending on even if you have 100 uh, uh, 100 inch just a huge televisions uh, the lcd panel the entire panel can be started removed from this so this can be mounted over conveyors about work benches uh, in paint shops various applications a simple blower but with lots and lots of feature rich uh, there is one uh, one more feature that i would like to show you very clearly you have the signal outputs here signal output for every fan both the fans are here you can have this connected to your uh, PLC or different different places, different alarm systems, and you can have a add-on light or a buzzer. And if this this alarm HV is on, uh, even the uh, fan alarm is on, so you can have this particular blower, uh, you know, give out the alarm signal at that particular port. So. Thank you so much for watching the video. You have any questions? My number is there at the bottom of the video, and also my email ID. Send me an email, or call me, or message me, and we'll be glad to answer your question. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Sachin signing off.